I am Dr. Shajil and today I would like to share an interesting case of 70 years old male who presented to me with a history of floaters, flies floating around his left eye for about three months. The interesting part of the history was when one of his friends suggested him to use mosquito net to get rid of the fly. He used the net but couldn't get rid of it, so he came to visit me. I diagnosed him as a case of posterior vitreous detachment. <coughs> Here you can clearly see that moving aggregated clump of collagen just around the optic disc. In this video, floaters are the most common complaints. They move with the eye movements on examination. I found uh, one aggregated clump of collagen fibers as white ball torn from the margin of the optic disc and also during its movement casting a shadow on the retina which you can clearly see in this video. The patients usually perceive them as hairs, flies, spider webs. Now the causes of the vitreous liquefaction <coughs> the vitreous floaters and PVD are with aging the dense vitreous becomes watery liquefied myopia also degenerates the vitreous rapidly then trauma to the eye cataract complicated cataract surgery especially with posterior capsular rupture and vitreous loss accelerates the PVD so to understand the pathophysiology first we should know its attachments vitreous is a strongly the strongest attachment of the vitreous is at the vitreous base followed by the margins of the optic nerve then weakly attached to the macula and the weakest attachment is at the retinal vessels that's why the posterior vitreous detachment and floaters are <coughs> commonly associated <coughs> with the vitreous hemorrhage at that point <coughs> floaters are most common with dim illumination and in the temporal visual fields the displaced clump of vitreous during eye movement scatter the incoming light and cast a shadow on the retina that the patient perceives as a grey structure such as hair, bugs and webs. <coughs> when you encounter a patient with a complaint of sudden onset of floaters or flashes, you must rule out the possibility of the retinal tear or break. For that slit lamp examination is needed <coughs> to examine the anterior vitreous of the pigmented cells, Schaeffer sign and indirect ophthalmoscopy can rule out retinal break or retinal detachment. If it is an asymptomatic PVD, it has got good prognosis, but if it is associated with vitreous hemorrhage or retinal detachment, then it has got a worse prognosis. In the video you can clearly see that white aggregated clump above the disc along the optic disc margins. We are trying our best to locate it for you. That's how it is seen on the indirect of thalmoscopy. You can clearly see here. So the treatment is observation, reassurance. You have to tell the patient that try to ignore those flying objects most of the time the symptoms of the floaters will, sub will subside within three months. There is no medical therapy for floaters. Um, 
the differential diagnosis you must rule out retinal detachment vitreous hemorrhage asteroid hyalosis synchysis scintillance and vitritis i would also tell you an another true story few years back my neighbor and a very well known dentist <clears throat> he was 28 years of age myopic developed floaters floaters gradually increased and he was so annoyed that he requested the vitro retinal surgeons to perform his pars planar vitrectomy to get rid of his floaters because he could not concentrate on near work study etc his best corrected vision was 66 with minus 5 or minus 4 And then I shifted to another city and lost contact. But after one year, I met him, and I asked about the floaters, and he said, "Thanks God, it disappeared totally after two months without any pars planar vitrectomy." And he was very happy. So observation is the best treatment for floaters. <coughs> another floater is a wise ring. it is a ring shaped floater that is created by pvd from around the optic disc margins it um, it is a much larger and a hollow so you must uh, know about the wise ring as well round in the vitreous i have tried my best to capture it for you and tell you in detail about the posterior vitreous detachment and how the floaters actually look like i hope you have learned something thank you very much